Okay, so I'm trying something here. Uh, my compressor at home was too not, not um, didn't have the capacity to do some sandblasting, uh, so I'm I brought uh, my uh, sandblasting gun to to work, where I have a proper big compressor, and I have made a little something uh, of a portable sandblasting station here. So here are the parts that I'm going to sandblast today, hopefully, if everything goes according to plan. Uh, some uh, protective equipment and the uh, gun, and here's where I'm going to do the deed. Uh, I hope, I know that the sand gets everywhere, but I'm hoping to be able to contain it. Uh, this is one of those bags where, um, to help you when you bring dirty stuff in your car so it should be more or less sealed uh, we'll see how it goes okay so this is maybe four or five minutes of work later and you can see that there's plenty of sand here not so much on the ground which is good so i can actually reuse that sand and this is the result I mean, I may need to spend a little bit more time on this area here, but I'm very happy with this. This will save a lot of time. With the compressor back home, this wouldn't have been possible. So, yeah, super happy. Now I'm just gonna go, go to work on these pieces and uh, I'll uh, try to see if I can shoot, uh, sh uh, shoot inside, uh, to film inside when I'm, when I'm doing it a little bit. So you can see how effective this is. And this is cheap stuff. I think this one is $20. Uh, the sand for 25 kilos, uh, about 50 pounds, was um, $10. Uh, <clears throat> so if you get access to a compressor, you can do this at home, no problem. And I think this setup actually works pretty good. I just have to clean the, the sand off of the car like the, like here but it's no worse than I mean a day at the beach so yeah super happy about this Okay, so the swing arm seems to be quite a bit tougher, the, probably a lot thicker paint on that one. So I will uh, do the most of it with an angle grinder and, uh, and a wire brush and then I will take the hard to reach areas with the sand blaster. one hour now and uh, I will show you the results 
So my plan is to take them apart, obviously, for the last bit, and uh, make sure that the bearings are okay and everything. If, if they're not, I'm going to replace them. Um, maybe I shouldn't have sandblasted with the bearings inside. I'm not sure if that was a good idea, but ready to be painted. And you can really reach the hard, hard to reach places with the sand, which would be impossible with any, any sandpaper or anything like that. It's just a tiny bit of grime in there, but I'm not too worried about that. piece I couldn't get rid of was this that was hard as nails I don't know maybe I can just soak it in some thinner or something and it will come off I think the um, the most uh, the most difficult part about this process with stripping stripping paint and uh, making it ready for paint is that you have to paint it more or less straight straight away because otherwise you will start getting rust in a day not even that if it's the right conditions um, so my work today is only half done and uh, now I'm gonna go home and set up the spray gun and shoot some paint Coming up, what's the best way to clean white plastics? Oh. 